Hi everybody, it's Abby Cook with Communication Junction, and today we are here at Pekin Public Library for Sign and Sing Storytime. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. I'm so glad you're here and I hope you have a fantastic experience. And if you are a regular with Sign and Sing Storytime, it's good to see you again and we have a fun theme planned for today. So if you um, have bubbles at home, please grab those and know that my goal for you here at Sign and Sing Storytime is to have 30 minutes of fun with your kiddo while learning a few theme-based vocabulary words um, that you can use throughout the month or throughout your time, you know, when you're talking about this theme. This month's theme is all about spring, so perfect for March and um, lots of opportunities to use these signs when you're outside enjoying the nice weather. So the way that we get started is by waving. Can you wave for me? Here we go. Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? How are you today? Oh, is everybody doing great? Can you show me a five hand? Can you put it right here? Say, I'm fine. Here we go. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. Hope you are too today. Nice job, everybody. Can I see your pointer fingers? Can you wiggle them? Wake them up. Hook them this way and hook them this way. That's our sign for friend. And in my song, I say neighbor, and it goes like this. Turn to your neighbors and wave hello. Turn to your neighbors and wave hello. Turn to your neighbors and wave hello. Wave hello today. Hello, everybody. Can you say hello, Miss Abby? It's so great to see you. I'm so glad you're here today. We're going to talk all about spring. So it's like all of the plants coming up out of the ground. Spring, spring. And one of my favorite signs during spring is wind. Wind, so you're gonna take your hands and make them blow back and forth like this, wind. Wind. So our song that we're going to sing to start off story time is all about the noisy wind. It's I love the noisy wind. And it goes like this. I love the noisy wind. I love the noisy wind. It moans and mutters, shakes and shudders. I love the noisy wind. Are you ready to help me? Can you show me your sign for wind? Here we go. I love the noisy wind. I love the noisy wind. It moans and mutters, shakes and shudders. I love the noisy wind. Good job, friends. So this song appeals to learners of all ages. If you have a little bitty one who is not yet signing, what you're working on is imitating motor movements. So them just moving their bodies back and forth um, for the wind. And then with our older kids, really working on that sign for wind. Let's do it one more time. It goes like this. I love the noisy wind. I love the noisy wind. It moans and mutters, shakes and shudders. I love the noisy wind. Good job, everybody. Nice work. So that's a fun one to do anytime during the spring, but especially when it's windy out there, which it has been recently. Are you ready for our first book? Take your hands, put them together, and open them. That's our sign four book. And we're going to also use our sign for friend and sing this song. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book with all my friends. And our first book it's called I See Spring, and it's written by Charles Ginga and published by Pic Picture Window Books, allowing us to read it with you today. All right, here we go. I love this book. There's one for every season, which is kind of nice 
to have in your in your library at home and see that repetition for the kids. Here we go. I see raindrops falling. I see raincoats, blue and brown. I see dark clouds way up high. I see a rainbow in the sky. I see puddles on the street. I see rain boots on my feet. I see sunshine on the trees. I see bluebirds ride, ride, ride in the breeze. I see robins build a nest. I see bunnies, look, take a rest. I see ladybugs and snails. Do you see them? I see puppies. Can you pat your leg like you're calling your dog? I see puppies chase their tails. I see yellow daffodils. Do you see the flowers? I see bluebells on the hills, more flowers. I see squirrels. This is a good one. Squirrels scamper by. I see pinwheels go round and round. I see kites up in the sky. I see clothes hanging out to dry. I see butterflies. I see butterflies and flowers. I see signs of more spring showers. The end, that's our sign for all done, all done. And we can use that anytime we change activities. And now we're going to stand up and move our bodies. And if you have a little one who's not yet a stander, feel free to leave them on your lap. This song goes to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It, and we're just gonna sing about the wind. So can you show me your sign for wind? Good job. Now, we're gonna talk about different parts of our bodies where the wind blows. So let's start with our nose. You ready? It goes like this. Oh, the wind blows on my nose, on my nose. Oh, the wind blows on my nose, on my nose. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, the wind blows on my nose with the whooshing, whooshing sound. Oh, the wind blows on my nose, on my nose. Good job. Let's do someplace else. How about our head? Can you find your head? Let's make the wind blow on our head. You ready? Oh, the wind blows on my head, on my head. Oh, the wind blows on my head, on my head. Oh, the wind blows on my head with the whooshing, whooshing sound. Oh, the wind blows on my head, on my head. I forgot to whoosh, whoosh that time. Let's try another one. Can you find your knees? Go like this. Oh, the wind blows on my knees, on my knees. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, the wind blows on my knees, on my knees. Oh, the wind blows on my knees with the whooshing, whooshing sound. Oh, the wind blows on my knees, on my knees. Let's do one more. Let's make it blow on our bellies. And at home, if your little ones are on your laps, you can tickle their bellies. Ready? Oh, the wind blows on my belly, on my belly. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, the wind blows on my belly, on my belly. Oh, the wind blows on my belly with the whooshing, whooshing sound. Oh, the wind blows on my belly, on my belly. Whoosh, whoosh. Good job. All right, let me see those hands. Can you make them clap? What about your feet? Can you make them stop? And can you turn around? Here we go. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go stomp, stomp, stomp. One little body turns around. 
on little bottom sits on the ground can you come sit with me come sit down good job so we like to count oops we like to count in story time so today we're going to do some counting about kites because our next book is all about kites so show me your kite put a string on it make it fly up high so we use the song that we know as 10 Little Indians, and we just change the, the vocabulary word to whatever we're talking about. So we're gonna sing one little, two little, three little kites, and then we're gonna make it fly really high at the end, okay? It goes like this. One little, two little, three little kites. Four little, five little, six little kites. Seven little, eight little, nine little kites. 10 little kites flying up high. Good job, friends. Let's do it one more time. Show me your kite. Here we go. One little, two little, three little kites. Four little, five little, six little kites. Seven little, eight little nine little kites, 10 little kites flying up high. Nice job, everybody. Good work. All right, so our next book, like I told you, is all about a kite. It's called Kite Day. I'm ready to fly a kite. How about you? All right, show me that sign for book. Here we go. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book with all my friends. All right. So this one is called Kite. Day, and it's written by Will Hillenbrand and published by Willow or Holiday Books, allowing us to read it with you guys today. You ready? Here is Bear and Mole ready for a kite day. Bear looked up at the sky. Could it be? He tilted his head up. Can you sniff with me? Do you smell it? <gasps> it's kite day! It must be windy. Bear rushed home, past the grass, past the cows. Home he goes. Come on, bear, wave to mole. Come on, it's kite day. Bear collected, Mole studied the books, Bear snatched, Bear measured and cut, Mole drew, and they both built a beautiful yellow kite. Finally, they raced outside into the meadow. The kite flew. Can you put your kite up in the sky? Zoom, zoom, zoom. It soared up, 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 up. <gasps> then dark, heavy clouds rolled in. Rumble, rumble, rumble. The breeze, can you show me your wind? Blew to a gust. <sighs> then snap. <gasps> the string on the kite broke. Oh no, away spun the kite. Oh no, screamed Mole and Bear. Down, down, down. So here's our sign for down, but I'm gonna make my kite go down. Down, 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 plunged the kite. Save the kite, yelled Mole and Bear, and the two ran. Hurry, 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 hurry. Bear. Mole stopped. He tilted his head up. Splat, 
splat, splat, splat, rain. Pelted the broken kite. Do you see it up there? <gasps> Look, said Bear. Oh, said Mole. Chirp, 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 chirp. Squeak the baby chicks. <gasps> Thank you, said the mama bird. <gasps> Their broken kite is providing a shelter for those birds. That's nice. And you say, the end, the end. Good job. Can you grab your bubbles? And if you don't have bubbles at home, they can pretend to pop the bubbles on my screen too. Are you ready? So this is our sign for bubbles, two circles, and they pop bubbles, bubbles. I'm gonna get up and blow mine, and we're gonna sing a little song all about our bubbles. All right, here we go. Say, bubbles, please. Good job. Here they come, here they are. Bubbles floating all around, all around, all around. Bubbles floating all around. Pop, pop, pop. Should we do it one more time? Can you say, more bubbles, more bubbles. Here we go. Bubbles floating all around, all around, all around. Bubbles floating. bubbles. They're all settling on the carpet here in the classroom. Good job. Can you say all done bubbles? All done. Let me see your hands. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go stomp, stomp, stomp. One little body turns around. One little bottom sits on the ground. Good job, everybody. I have one more book for you. This one is one of my favorites. Um, and usually it appeals to just the little guys or families with little ones. Um, but there is a lot that you can do with it with older kids too. So we'll, we'll talk about that um, as we go through it. Can you show me your sign for book and your sign for friend? Here we go. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book with all my friends. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book. It is time to read a book with all my friends. And this one's called, that's not, so this is our sign for not, so another good one for the older kids. That's not my bunny. And it's written by Fiona Watts and published by Usborne Books. Lots of adjectives in here. That's not my bunny. His tail is too fluffy. Fluffy. So we can work on adjectives with our older kids and just touching and feeling with our little kid. You ready? That's not my bunny. His paws are too rough. Too rough. Can you feel them? That's not my bunny. His tail is too wooly. That's not my bunny. His eyes are too shiny. Shiny eyes. That's not my bunny. His nose is too fuzzy. my bunny. His ears are so soft. Here's his ears. So soft. Say, the 
end, the end. Good job, everybody. So I told you at the beginning of story time that my goal was for you to take home a handful of signs that you can use all month long. Sorry, I feel like you're crooked. There we go. Um, so that looks two ways. If you are brand new to Communication Junction or your signing journey, or you have a little bitty one who's not yet ready to start signing, um, we want to A, work on building their imitation skills, but B, want to start using signs that you can add to words that you're saying every day. So it just becomes part of your everyday routine. So signs that we learned today that will work in part of your everyday routine are sign for book. Put your hands together and open it. Every time you sit down to read with your little one, sign this. And our sign for all done, all done. Every time you change activities, all done and move on to the next activity that helps our little ones learn to transition a little bit better. And then we also talked about our sign for bubbles and sometimes kids need something that's kind of motivating and engaging to sign. So bubbles always seems to do the trick for them there too. So there's our sign for bubbles. And then if you're ready to add in some of the signs that we talked about today in story time, we talked all about signs for spring. So some of those signs were rain. There was a lot of rain in our very first book. And we talked about wind. We're gonna sing about wind again before we leave. And what flies in the wind are kite. And then our last book was all about a bunny, a bunny. So there's some fun spring signs for you. I would love if under this video, you wanted to add in the comment section what maybe your favorite sign was or a spring sign you would like to learn. And next time we're here together for story time, I can add that in um, to my lesson and, and we can learn that sign too. We are going to end with our I Love the Noisy Wind song and then we'll sing goodbye. Can you show me your wind? It goes like this. I love the noisy wind, I love the noisy wind. It moans and mutters, shakes and shudders. I love the noisy wind. Good job, friends. I will see you right back here next time for Sign and Sing Storytime with Pekin Public Library. If you happen to be sharing on social media that you are enjoying story time through Pekin Public Library, if you wouldn't mind tagging them in your comments or in your posts, it's just another way for us to say thank you for continuing to provide this programming. And if you'd like to learn more about what Communication Junction has to offer in our community, you can find us at www.communicationjunction.net. All right, let's sing goodbye. Can you point to your watch for time? It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. Bye-bye, friends. I'll see you soon.